Hi, my name is Oin Kosala Oun Chakwa, aka KKC, and I'm a second year PhD student here at the Center of Excellence for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence and Modeling at the University of Hull. Hi, my name is Dr. Lara Blythe. I'm a teaching fellow here at the University of Hull um, in the Center of Excellence for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence and Modeling. So KKC, can you tell us a little bit about your background uh, and what led you to pursue an MSc and now a PhD at the Centre of Excellence for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence and Modelling? Thank you so much, Lara. So my background is in geophysics. I studied that for four years in my undergrad. And after that, I sort of figured that, you know, I wanted to do something with computers. Of course, I didn't know much about AI at the time, but I heard about, you know, um, data science and I began to do some research in data science, do some background reading. And I just figured, you know, this is what I want to do with my life or with the rest of my time. And it was a no brainer for me to, you know, pursue an MSc in that field. So I applied to the University of Hull. I got in and smooth sailing from then on. So can you tell us a little bit about your PhD? and how your research will actually contribute to the field of data science and AI. So my current research, in a nutshell, I'm looking at cross-cultural analysis of music genres and emotions using deep learning and AI. And I'm looking at two different cultures, so Western culture and um, African culture. And for Western culture, I'm looking at R&B, pop, country, rap music, lyrics. And for African culture, I'm looking at Afrobeats music lyrics. And how your current research will impact the field of data science and artificial intelligence? So first of all, I'd, I'd like to say that in the field of data science and AI, large language models are extremely biased towards you know English language and English lyrics, which is where my research comes in. There's not much work that has been done on you know Afrobeats as a whole or you know even African languages in general. So I'm trying to bridge that gap in a way. So um, how have the resources and facilities at the Centre of Excellence here at Hull um, supported your research and your academic growth? Um, the Centre of Excellence for Artificial Intelligence, Data Science and Modeling has been really supportive with my research. You know, I have literally all the resources that I need. If you just look behind me, you see lots of powerful computers that we have at our disposal. I also have my personal PC, you know, which is really powerful and helps me um, do my research. I have access to Viper, which is a powerful supercomputer. So if what I'm trying to run can't run on my personal computer then I can just move over to Viper and do the things that I need to do. The environment is really conducive for learning. The teaching fellows here are excellent, ever supportive, you know, willing to help and I have the best supervisors ever. I couldn't ask for I, I couldn't ask for anything more. So the next question and it actually follows on very nicely from your answer to the previous one. So what, what role have your professors, mentors and peers played in your journey um, at the centre? Honestly, I'd say that I give big ups to my professors because my background, like I said, is in geophysics. So it's not much of AI background before I did my MSc. And there's some times when, you know, I feel lost. I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. But that's why I have these amazing professors who are super intelligent and are there to guide me and say, oh, okay, you know what, you're doing good. You need to do this better or you need to you know read these journals and i feel like i would be so lost without my supervisors or without my professors so i'm really really grateful for them okay so moving on what are your career aspirations after completing your phd and how has your time at the center kind of prepared you for these goals so far I'd really like to do something, you know, related to my thesis, obviously. So that would mean possibly, you know, working in music, maybe uh, Apple Music, you know, improving the recommendation engine, because essentially my research is looking at how the um, different musicians express emotions through their music lyrics. Of course, it will make sense to work in a company that deals with music or, you know, some music recommendation system or something like that. So I'd really like to work in that field. And if that doesn't work out, I could always go back to being a musician. So you're a musician by background.